We'll begin to cross then uh, to Kiev. Speak to our correspondent who joins us uh, from there, Gwendolyn de Bono. So, Gwendolyn, a new curfew then and those threats of shelling getting uh, stronger by the hour, I suppose. Yes, exactly. And the inhabitants are not allowed to leave their homes until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And yes, according to the mayor of the city, this new curfew is imposed because the authority expect a further shelling by uh, Russian forces. This morning we heard uh, uh, several uh, air red siren uh, sounding uh, in the city. The day before yesterday, uh, a huge shopping uh, center was bombed and completely destroyed. Eight people uh, were killed and several uh, surrounding building uh, were damaged and uh, it's the fear here that this type of strikes intensified because it must be understood that uh, all around the city the battlefront uh, seems completely blocked for instance yesterday uh, we were at the entrance of the town uh, of Irpin northwest uh, of Kiev and despite increasing artillery fire the Russian troops are not making significant uh, progress they still hold to uh, a two areas uh, inside inside the city we witnessed yesterday there yesterday evening a uh, limited fighting uh, actually according to several sources there ukrainian forces tried to prevent russian troops from placing their artillery position uh, closer to the capital but what is taking shape for kiev now uh, it's a, a, a siege artillery uh, which can actually last pretty long uh, Gwendolyn, how would you describe residents there? I mean, still um, very resilient, and how many of them are there left? Yes, there are many. Uh, they are really uh, resilient. But what we witnessed yesterday uh, at the entrance of this town of Fierpin, uh, for instance, is still uh, you have still residents uh, who are being uh, evacuated, but fewer and fewer. First, because a lot of them have already left, and because the evacuation process is getting really, really complicated. We uh, spoke yesterday with a paramedic in their ambulance, and several times yesterday they tried to go to pick up those people but they have to turn back because uh, the mortar fire was really uh, intense so uh, it's getting really really difficult to evacuate people from uh, the battlefront because of uh, the artillery fire and uh, the paramedic we spoke to yesterday told us that uh, the past three days uh, it, most of the people uh, who have been evacuated from the front line are wounded soldiers more uh, than uh, uh, and civilian who try to escape. Gwendolyn, thanks very much. Gwendolyn De Bono, our correspondent, uh, talking to us there live from Kiev.